Sure, no problem. Um, there's a, a segment within markets suggesting that a very large push will be done by the uh, powers that be for propaganda purposes and that it will begin a little earlier than we had anticipated. And thus, we think there might be a uh, plunge protection team propping up of the banks from now through about May 14th or so before things start deteriorating. Uh, beyond that, uh, okay, yeah, yes, beyond that, the uh, dollar is, go is already under pressure, and we've got a pretty good timeline that extends out to about mid-August, and then there's a, a with downward pressure on the dollar, and actually all currencies, a, a real upset within the currency structure itself. And this will relate to the um, uh, Chinese counterfeiting of uh, specialty gold coins, but it will also relate to some scandals coming out from within the banking community, further scandals and further emotional upset, distancing the banking and uh, powers that be from the populace. And this will continue through to about uh, mid-August. There will be a slight hiatus due to other issues arising, and then it will resume with a vengeance on October 26th. The October 26th through November 5th date will seemingly uh, be a background issue. And then on November 5th, the administration of the U.S. and the powers that be will find itself in a very dire set of circumstances that will extend all through to end of February 2010. Okay, then um, in addition, over the next three weeks, we're going to discover that the new lands issue, especially around Tonga down through towards Macquarie Island, is accelerating. The impact on the coast is probably already underway, and what we were picking up for our global coastal phenomena probably relates to the expression of the language following the discovery of the event. So because the Tongan volcano is now producing new land that apparently has risen above the ocean uh, surface in at least one area, and because the magma movement continues, there will apparently be more growth under seas, but, but the general mainstream populace or mainstream media and the populace as a whole will not necessarily start uh, discussing this with any kind of um, seriousness until about mid-May. But as we have surmised, the global coastal phenomena is well underway at this point and will be affecting us from May through into the fall, again, with some level of seriousness. We expect to soon start seeing some level of disruption of Pacific Coast ports as a result of the ongoing problems over these next three weeks in the southern oceans. Beyond that, we're now also getting a um, change within the lexicon itself. We've had these in the past. Uh, an example was when we started off in the year 1999 and into 2000, we had Bush al uh, administration allied with the corporations, which gradually broke up over time. So our original entity was called Bush Co., as the conjunction of those two, and it eventually came down to merely the Bushistas, which were the hardcore cadre that supported the right-wing neocon view. And over time, we saw that, that the corporations and the press had fallen away from Bush as a, as a whole, and that was a change within the lexicon that we had to plot and take um, uh, steps to capture. And at this point, we now have a similar situation yes. arising, we have a similar situation arising in that we have a new entity that we're posting about that we're going to call Omni-Humanity. We say this because it has a very large space component and is not limited to the planet Earth. However, we cannot, as of this point, explain what that component will be because the entity is still vague and in, in the process of shaping itself. But there is a new phenomenon that will occur within humans that we are describing as hyper-chroniacs. The, 
the Kroniak component refers to time. We believe that there's going to be some level of change within the populace at some small level, say perhaps as, as few as a thousand, but maybe as large as, as 50,000 individuals who will be s somehow living in time or affected by time in a way different from the main populace of the planet. Did that make sense? Totally. Yes. The, okay, the hyperchroniacs uh, the hyperchroniacs are apparently appearing now, and we're finding that the largest percentage of emotional values is coming from bespoke fear components within the powers that be entity. Yes? Yeah, beyond that, we find that the powers that be are relating the hyperchroniac condition to a failure of their efforts in some way. The um, hyperchroniac will apparently be in no way really visible unless they choose to exhibit somehow their ability relative to or the, the effect of time on them. There is a subset of this that shades over into the surreal subset and we suspect that some individuals will join the hyperchroniac condition unwittingly and perhaps unwillingly and that it will seriously upset them and they may think of this as a new form of mental illness. <laughs> yes, it sounds good. <laughs> not, not if you think you're crazy. Yes, we, we also have an indication that the fundamental breakthrough or, or discovery for the new electrics uh, will derive from a understanding of cymatics, the distribution of frequencies through matter, and that this is currently very close to fruition, but we will not hear it until November or so. I do not think it relates to academia nor to the collider. However, the collider will be impacted by whatever the discovery is that is currently being uh, encountered in the laboratories. Yes. So, so that's a good synopsis of what is posted but much more uh, within the text and a uh, chart showing some of the progression of the uh, problems for the Brits and the French uh, this summer. Yes, so what you gave us now is a